Salvador de Bahia, which is was the colonial capital. So this is where they shot behind the scenes for Michael Jackson's video. They don't care about us. Here we have a beautiful sign that says "Celebrate Salvador." Viva Salvador! Beautiful. Huh? It's gorgeous. So peaceful. We are ducking at Salvador Bahia in Brazil. So, can't wait to see this last port of Brazil. And we're almost there. Take a look. So we've just gotten out of the boat. We just debarked. We're on our first excursion at Salvador de Bahia in Brazil, which used to be the colonial capital of the Portuguese Empire when the royal family was expelled from Portugal by Napoleon. And right now, uh, this is a thriving city and is the center and soul of African Brazilian culture. So it's Afro-Brazilian here, so. And this is where a lot of the wonderful cuisine comes from. I mean, each section of Brazil has wonderful cuisine, but the northeastern part, they're really known for the dish moqueca, which is a fish stew that is absolutely tremendous. And we had that while we were in Rio. So anyway, we're looking forward to this excursion. It's gonna last about four, four and a half hours. And, um, We'll go from there and we'll yeah. share our experience with you. Can't uh, wait for the moqueca. Yeah, well, oh I don't God. know if we're going to eat it, but we have a big dinner tonight. So yes. uh, we're looking forward to this trip because this 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 city has a lot of history in it. Yes, and it's actually supposed to be very much like the way it was when it was the colonial capital of Portugal. Yeah, amazing. So this is our ship right here. Together. All right. Hours. That sounds nice. Awesome. Sorry, sorry, Salvador. I'm All right. Love. Thank you. <laughs> we will. Amazing, man. Morning. 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 Okay, so right now we're seated on the bus, waiting for the tour to start. So, yeah, excited. We are excited. We're waiting. Waiting. We're waiting. It'll be fun. It's so humid, huh? Yeah. It reminds me of Manila. Yeah, it was quite humid running it. Air conditioners in the bus very comfortable. Very nice. Yeah, so apparently, uh, Salvador is a city. I was mistaken because I was expecting it's gonna be like a, yeah. like an island. Yeah, this is actually a historical tour. So we get to see the colonial roots and mm. so I, I forget what's included in here. This used to be the capital, right? This used to be the capital of colonial Portugal. Colonial Portugal. Yes, amazing. Now I can see it. It's really developing. And this is our driver, Jorge. 
He's the one that take us safely and bring us back. Okay. And we are together for the next four hours. Okay. Uh, today we have a story talk. So it's gonna be a pleasure to share a little bit of our history. Uh, we are immaterial patrimony of the humanity. So rich. Salvador, because we are the first capital of Brazil. I think that all of you know a little bit. And uh, I'm going to, to bring this today, and I hope you enjoy. We have four hours there. We are going to the Pelourinho, yeah? uh, and after we are going to the lighthouse. This is our day today. We are going to the church. We are having our coconut water in the middle of the way. And I hope you enjoy. Uh, would you like to? history that was built like in the 1540s you know the first uh, governor's palace you know wow it's a beautiful palace and then that big elevator was really surprising that it goes between the lower and the hot upper city and it was the first public urban elevator ever established in the world we are saying this type of architecture with the windows like that is supposed to be from the, the 1500s or the 16th century and I think it's really interesting that you still have the cobblestone streets or the brick lake streets still um, you know um, in place
that we have the Catholics exactly. with so many chats. We have the Protestants. Hot right now. Ooh, see the market? They have capirinha. Mm. So you can drink on the street? Is this cozinha? This is the acarajé. The local food. The African food. And the bayona with the outfit. It's made by beans and it's fried in a dende oil that came, the dende tree came from Africa and then it stays like this. Is it stuffed with anything? Yeah, we put shrimp, salad inside, and a mash made by bread. Ooh. So you try if you want. Okay? Go. You want to try one? Uh, yeah. How much is it for one? It's 15. 15, 15 reais, like two eight. Oh. Oh, say open, open. You want to like a Oh. Oh. But so when I set the cartel, that's okay. Oh, shrimp. Oh, my God. Obrigado. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Looks so good. Watch. Yay. Thank you. Obrigado. What's that? This is their national dish. What is it? Uh, it it's called like cuisine. It's it's something that they that they made with bean paste and things like that. Then it's deep fried and then it's stuffed with shrimp and chilies and spice. So <laughs> looks good, right? It smells good. <laughs> it's collarbone. Well, we're gonna try it now. What did it cost? Three dollars. Fifteen. Mm. Mm. Fifteen support. Tasty. Mm, very shrimpy. And eat it with the shrimp. The shrimp with the shell. I, I, yeah, yeah. I think so. You can eat the shrimp with the shell. Mm. It's small. It's fried. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That it's very. Good. Yeah. No, no. Very good. It's a little salty, but so, it's a little salty. It's kind of shrimpy, but but I think when you eat with the bread here, yes, it yes, it takes it like balance it out. Yes. yes. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm. Wow. The bread is good. It's a carnival museum and in Bahia it's actually the biggest carnival festival in the world and in Brazil and uh, the one thing that actually I loved about Brazil was many years ago I saw a film called Bahia and it Always was about the uh, uh, what do you call it the carnival and I said what a fun place to visit and now we're here, now we're here. at the birthplace of carnival that's amazing of course I have it all over Brazil. Brazil, but yeah. this is the biggest, the like three million people come here each year for just that. Yeah. Pure fundamental. Wow. 
No, no, that's the uh, that is Laza. Laza. Excuse me, what's the name of this church? Cathedral Basilica. Uh, Cathedral Basilica. Basilica. Oh, Cathedral Basilica, and that's a Tareo de Jesus. Very Renaissance style. Beautiful, isn't it? When you come up to the front of the church. Wow. So beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, this is the capoeira. Dance. Take pictures if you want. Also known as the no November 15th Square because of the Basilica Cathedral. Anyway, the fountain that they have there was brought over from France and it pictures the god Ceres, who is the goddess of, um, I guess, agriculture or something, but I'll double check that. And um, it's kind of symbolizing the wealth and power of Portugal at the time. So now we're having coconut juice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Straw. Straw. Thank you. So refreshing. So refreshing. Coconut juice. Mm. Good for your bladder. <laughs> it's really hot. It's so a San Francisco Church of the First Order. First Order. First Order were the priests. Second Order, the nuns. Third Order, the rich people that could build church. So over there we have the San Francisco Church of the Third Order. There are no goats there, but it's the San Francisco as well.
¿Qué? Pecunia Dona no. Que bello que ha, que parla. Goodbye. El dinero permite que todo el mundo tenga dinero. El dinero permite todo. Ok. Eso. Nada detiene al laberinto. Ya. Y un peso. Interesting tiles <laughs> that the Portuguese <laughs> brought to my hand. Hello. Que chico, que es bonita. Ah, yeah. Talk to Bahia. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful here. Yeah, wow. it is. I am so spiked, yeah. but you should come. Right. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Reminds you of uh, those places that we've been to in, in Europe. Yes, I mean each depiction of tiles represents a certain uh, thing about death, about life, about agriculture, of generally of a religious nature. For example, this one says advantages of the old age, las ventajas de la vejez. So each uh, painting section symbolizes what it says. So this is the Latin version, vaira se recta bona. And that's what it means, advantages of the old age. So the good thing is that with each one of these things, it has a Latin phrase on the top that explains what this is about. And then they have the translation down there. So it's really fascinating to go by each one. Like this one here, it says time flies irrevocably. El tiempo vuela irrevocablemente. And it says, Volat irrevocabile tempus. Nice. So you can see the young as he gets older, older, and then the oldest. How time flies. So this represents what this says. And there are, oh God, there are about like 40 or 50 of them here. So it's really fascinating to read each one. Wow, look at this. Wow, this is uh, ornate to say the least. Mm -hmm. His face is like, it's heavy. Okay. So I'm like, heavy. Via? Via? Is this the Church of the Third no. Order? No, this is the first order. This is still the yeah, first order. The third order, no oh, gold. No. Yeah, we've seen that. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, this is where all the money was spent. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Because wow. You can see here. Yes, okay, okay, I will sit here. How ornate these things are. Is that the church? Marconi. Ah, this is a for me. And they're celebrating 500 wow. years. What do you want to say about it? Wow. <laughs> intricate 
She was saying that this is the richest, that this is the richest church, you know, in Brazil. All of that gold stuff is actually gold. Mm. And there's more than a half a ton of gold in this church. Yes. Like amazing. These yeah, are they're really they're nice. Those are really, really, really good. Oh, you're so cute, you too, you know? Thank you. Thank you. So so lovely. Since so the beginning, you came with the, such a... Well, we're so happy to be here. We want to come back to Brazil. Oh, I like this. I like this door, this... Colors. Yeah, this uh, is are different colors because they use it to have no numbers. Beautiful. We're in the plaza where Michael Jackson himself filmed a video about this area in Brazil. And there's a picture of him way over there. You can take a look at it. And we are drinking. Mmm, a lemonada. So good. Lemon juice. This is lemon juice with coconut. It's so good. It's delicious. It's refreshing in this weather. It's amazing. That's really good. Mm. So this is where they shot one of the scenes for Michael Jackson's video, They Don't Care About Us. So it reminds me of that, but they also shot some clips in Rio, but they shot some here also in Pelorinha, Plaza Pelorinha. And look, they have Michael Jackson there, look at that. Yeah. It's really a nice plaza. Nice. the fort of São Diogo from 1627. Mm. Nice boats. This beach is Port of Barra, Porto da Barra. Oh, Porto Seguro, where the discover of Brazil arrived at, Port Seguro, Porto da Barra. So in somehow it was natural ports. That's why they arrived right here. It's one of the most, uh, one of the best beaches that we have. It is so nice because it is a swimming pool. That it is so nice, so nice that everybody comes. It's always so full. It is the LGBT beach. Oh, is it, it really? It is <laughs> where the carnival happens. Really? So we blow the world in this place. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fort of Santa Maria. Well, a lot of forts. 1627 as well. Wow. Inside that fort, we have expositions. The other one we have Caribe, that's more more for gravings. And this one we have Pierre Riverger, he was a French man. He was a photographer. 
We have some pictures of him outside. The first live house? Yeah, uh, in America? Yes. Okay. Oh my god. That's the nautical museum over there. Right here, we have a beautiful sign that says, celebrates Salvador. Viva Salvador, 475 years. So this place has been here a long time. And what we have up here is the world famous uh, uh, light tower. That's supposed lighthouse. to be a lighthouse. Yes, that's supposed to be like the oldest and the first one in the Americas. So on one side, it uh, protects what it called the Bay of Athens. On the other side is the Atlantic Ocean. So it really is an iconic and important place, one of the most famous places here in Salvador. And everybody who comes here has to see it. Underneath there is a museum, a nautical museum, that has items like shipwrecks and things like that. So we're going to go in and see that, see what that's all about. And, um, and right here, they have the beach also for the LGBT. Yes, very, very close here, just down the way, is one of the most popular beaches uh, of Salvador. A lot of people go there, especially during Carnival, but it's a great LGBT beach hangout. Action, yeah. to buy two so he just told us that we can't go up to the uh, mm. tower which is okay because we don't have much time so we're just going to take a look real quickly at what we have here geophysica oh wow all right so we're inside the lighthouse now but we won't be able to go up there. They have coffee. We can go up to that part, but not up to the top. Oops. Look at this. Seafarer's Prayer. Look at this old map. Roots of discovery. So they went to Malika. This is where a lot of the the fort and the lighthouse of San to Antonio da Barra, Governor de Francisco de Souza. A very common Portuguese name. Canoe. Barco Recovana, Reconcavo. This is the bay. Wow. That's why it's deep, so it's very easy to transport things. Look at the ship. Whaling was very popular here during this time. So they did a lot of whaling in this area back in the day. And sea battles. Doesn't he look like Santo Antonio? Santo Antonio, I tell you. Mm. Santo Antonio, that looks like him. Santo Antonio. Santo Antonio. Oil 
Bell Jars. I love these boats. They're showing a lot of beautiful boats that are constructed here. God, what ingenuity. English. Come see the view from here. And look at the beach up there. So beautiful. These are the light, the lanterns, right? Lanterns, yes. Those are maritime signals. Flashlight and lanterns for the seafarers. Wow, what do we have here? Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. So this is the division. That's the Atlantic Ocean and this is the Bay Area. So kind of separated by that. That's the end of the museum tour. So we saw that camera. That's the end. Uh, this side, this side. Oh, right. Ah, uh, look at that. Lions. All right. And, and, we, and we can't go into the tower because it's under maintenance right now. So uh, we're just here at the mid-level in the beginning and we have this beautiful panoramic view of the ocean and the bay. It's just amazing. Wow, so beautiful. Beautiful, huh? It's gorgeous. So peaceful. Look up here. You can kind of see a line that separates the Atlantic from the bay. Oh, nice. Very interesting, huh? And it's a 
busy port as well. Look at those. Yeah, this is a cargo ship. They picked this place originally because it had a large bay and excellent ports. So um, they say like in the 18 hundreds or something like that they moved the capital from Salvador to Rio because Rio they had all these mines and these mines you know, the royal family at least the people that the leaders of the country wanted to be close to the mines because that was a great source of wealth We're heading back to the bus now. Heading back to the bus. Yes. So that was a great uh, quick That was tour. a nice uh, maritime museum tour. Mm hmm So, wow. First lighthouse in South America. Yes. Oh, wow. I don't know what they're doing right now. They have a concert or something. Probably. It's a fantastic place to have a concert. All right. Coco Jelai. I wonder where the gay beach is. She said it was right over there. there? I think it was a colorful section. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we bring colors. I'm sure now. that we could find it if we put our mind to it. Yeah. And Bia said, actually Bea. She said that every carnival is really fun here. It's very colorful, especially what the LGBT community provides. Yay! Hello. We're here with Bia, or yeah. Bia, and she is a fantastic mm -hmm. tour guide. I know. So she really disclosed a lot of the history of the beautiful city yeah. of Salvador. I can see why people are so proud of it. It has a lot of history and it got it. It's so old. I didn't realize that. So, whenever you're here in Salvador, hope you get her because she's amazing. Yes, she is. It was my pleasure because they are so lovely, guys. Thank you. And I agree with them. We are so rich in history. Yes. Definitely. And very okay. beautiful and nice I am people. so happy yeah. to, to have Yay. them with me today. All right. Yes. So, now we're back at the ship after a wonderful tour of Salvador de Bahia, which is was the colonial capital. And by the way, I made a mistake when I said that uh, the, the colony, uh, what do you call it, the capital was established uh, during the expulsion of the royal family by Napoleon. No, that was several hundred years ago. So that actually happened in the 1800s. But Salvador de Bahia was founded in the 1500s. And because it was um, a great bay and very, very accessible to the ocean, uh, they made it the colonial capital of 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 colonial Portugal, which is Brazil, actually. Yeah, so now we're back on our ship. So now we're Thank back you, in Salvador. our ship. It's Thank wonderful. you, Salvador. It was a wonderful trip. Yeah.